everyone. So in light of the recent events, I decided to update my insurance compliant progress note. So as you can see here, I'm sharing my screen with you guys. And normally in my note, I check whether a session is telehealth or face-to-face. -face. And it's kind of a moot point for me because my practice is all online. But I do have an insurance billing course, and this is the note template that I share in there. So it's for a brick and mortar practice and an online practice. So aside from that, I recently updated this progress note in case any of the insurance companies want to question my use of telehealth modalities during this time. So recently, the Department of Health and Human Services released a statement waiving telehealth restrictions. So I feel it's important to document the reasons right now, just in case it's questioned later by the insurance companies. So as you can see, in addition to the telehealth and the face-to-face -face sessions, I added this extra box. And if you can see right here, it says telehealth. And then I lit literally took the words right from their website saying, you know, that they're waiving the restrictions for HIPAA compliant providers. So therapists, doctors, nurses, anybody that has to follow HIPAA regulations, they're waiving those restrictions for remote communication technologies. So that's why I added that exact wording right there. Um, and as we all know, as we're all scrambling on Facebook and our community is trying to figure out what to do here with the insurance companies, the answers are still really vague. So we're still in the dark about if we can see clients via telehealth from our own platforms, or do we have to use third party vendors? A lot of us just really aren't sure. I know that Optum and Cigna are already really good about covering telehealth. So you're probably safe with those two. Um, Aetna, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, some of the Medicaids, you know, we're still not sure about. So I wanted to just update this note just in case because I am going to still see my clients. If it doesn't get paid, I guess I'm just not going to get paid for it. But anyway, um, so like I said, I created this note and I updated it and I wanted to share it with you so you guys could update your notes and just be, um, you know, covering your butts a little bit with this. And this is just my template, so feel free to adapt it any way you see fit for your practice. And I also wanted to note that recently there's a, um, a therapist named Kristen Schwem. Kristen Schwem. She uh, recently updated her medical necessity section in her progress notes and shared it on the Simple Practice Community website or Facebook page. So I really thought it was fantastic. And I asked her if I could use it too. And she gave me permission to use it in my notes and in my insurance billing course. So I followed her guidelines and let me scroll down here and added a whole medical necessity section to my progress note. There it is just so I can make sure I'm more compliant with the insurance companies. But in this situation, I decided to adapt my note here too. So I followed her guidelines of the medical necessity stuff, but I also added this last little part about seeing clients via telehealth due to the coronavirus pandemic. And the modality required is due to social distancing re recommendations by the CDC. So for all my new clients that are trying to come on board right now, that Aetna or Blue Cross Blue Shield or just an insurance that I can't get a straight answer from. I am still going to see them, you know, hopefully this will be covered later, but I'm documenting using this note. So I'm going to check this definitely down here under medical necessity, along with these other medical necessity, you know, options here that I would just check for anybody. And then back up to the top, I'm definitely going to be checking this box, telehealth due to the HHS gov guidelines. So I hope this helps. If you'd like a copy of this note, feel free to email me. My email is info at kimtolson.com and it's K-Y-M-T-O-L-S-O-N.com. Um, also, if you haven't already, join my free Facebook group. Uh, there's a ton of people in there right now. We're just all trying to help each other and figure out the best way to still see our clients when we're quarantined essentially to our homes. So like I said, if you have any questions, reach out to me and I hope this helps.